Why they still hate? Why they still hate? I don't know. We gon' rain forever. We gon' rain forever. We gon' rain forever. Uh huh. Put up in my nation, why they still hate? Sons of God stand up before me. We ain't got time for no car cage. You feelin' our people head up with abomination. Waiting for the Lord, we still patient. Truth coming out, it's real blade. I got a holy die, I don't eat bacon. Watching out for them gutter rats, they still fake. They ain't no Jew, we the real Jews. Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Had to cut them up with a script right quick. Had to let them know I ain't no church dude. Nah, I ain't no church dude. I'm an Israelite, all about war. Pull a sword, gotta show the man what the verse do. Came with a friend, he gon' do himself a hearse too. Y'all, y'all, y'all should've known I don't play like that. Cut him up once, then he came right back. Cut him up again, then he fell right back. I don't get why he wanna catch a fade like that. I think he played himself. Oh, yeah. I think he played himself. Uh -huh. We the best in the world, that's top shelf. We the Israelites coming for your wealth. Yeah. Rain forever, we gon' do it big. Yeah. Break the nations like a little twig. In the streets, we get it in. We got precepts that'll split your wig. Why they still hate? I don't know. Why they still hate? I'm putting on for my nation. We gon' show you your true nationality according to the Bible. We here to tell you that you are not African or American, all right? You're looking at the real men of God. We are reading out the Holy Bible. We are not no Muslim. We are not no Q-dogs over here. We did not come to step. We didn't come to stump. We come to bring out the scriptures according to the Most High God to get our people to repent so we can get out of these conditions that we are living in. It's time for the black man to wake up in America. It's time for you to put them birds and them cigarettes and them whores down. It's time for the black man to wake up. All right? Give me what you got. John. Chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. The Bible said that ye should know the truth, black woman, black man. Read. And the truth shall make you free. It says, and this truth is going to make you free. Give me Psalms 119 and verse 142. What is going to make us free? What is going to wake the black man up in Jackson, Tennessee? Are y'all going to keep lying down in y'all shame? Are y'all going to stand up on y'all feet like righteous men and repent and come back to God's law, statutes, and his commandments? We are a lost nation of people. All right? Read what you got. This is what's going to make you free. Read. Psalm 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. God said that his righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Meaning it ain't going nowhere. Read. And thy law. And thy what? And thy law. And the laws of God. Read. Is the truth. That's the only truth that's in this earth. Is the laws of God. It's time for the black man to learn the laws of God so you can teach your woman. So you can teach the black woman so she can teach the kids. It's time for this thing to be turned back around. We was kings on this earth. Now we are slaves. You got to ask yourself, how did you come become a slave? How did you become a slave? How did you go from a king to being a slave? Bring it out. You need to ask yourself that. Why do we live in the conditions we live in? Why are we in the slum? Why are we in the ghetto? Why are you in the slum? Why you got to go to somebody else's store and buy? Why you ain't got your own store? Why we don't have our own brand of cars? Remember, our forefathers built this land. Our forefathers, our foremothers, they built this land. It's time for the black woman to wake up. Time for the black man to wake up. You we are the Israelites that the Bible speak of. That's we right. are God's chosen people. All right? Give me what you got. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 9. How long will thou sleep, O slugger? The Most High God is asking you a question, black man. He said what? How long will thou sleep, O slugger? He said how long will you going to sleep? How long you going to stay asleep in America? How long you gonna keep thinking that you are African American? How long you gonna keep thinking that you are a Negro? How long you gonna keep thinking that you are a, a, a porch monkey, a coon, a real nigga? How long you gonna keep thinking you a real nigga? All right, it's time for you to wake up in the land of your captivity. Give me Baruch chapter three and verse eight, all right? In the Apocrypha, the book of Baruch chapter three and verse eight. We are not free in the land of your captivity. You was brought here on, car, on a cargo slave ship. You was brought to America to repent. You wasn't brought to America to kick it and live it up, to try to get the car with the biggest rims, with the shiniest paint. You wasn't brought to America to see if you can get the longest weave and the longest nails. 
You weren't brought to America to see how many holes you can hit in one week. You was brought to America to repent. Bring it out. Bring what you got. Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. We are reading out the Holy Bible, y'all. 1611 King James Version. We are, we are not the Muslim. We ain't no cute dog. We come to bring the truth to Jackson, Tennessee. We are tired of the, the crime that goes on over here. And you're looking at the real man of God who's standing up. We coming to your neighborhood to give you the solution to how to fix the problems that are plaguing your community. Read. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. The Most High God said that we are yet this day in our captivity, meaning we are yet this day in slavery. Read. Where well, thou hast scattered us. Well, the Most High God has scattered us. He scattered the children of Israel for their disobedience throughout the four corners of the earth. And you were scattered to where? America. Read. For a reproach uh -huh. and a curse. It was a curse for you to get packed on the slave ship and brought to a land that you knew not. Read. And to be subject to payment. That's why we got to pay child support. That's why we got to pay a light bill, a water bill, a car note, a house note. That's why you got, we got to come out here to do what? To wake our people up. What's up, Holmes? We got to come out here to wake our people up and let our know, people know why we in the condition we in. Read what you got. According to all the iniquities of our fathers. According to all the iniquities of our forefathers. That's why we are living in the condition that we're living in. Well, you remind me of myself. I've never seen anything like that. Like we are here to wake our people up. Give me Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. So we are reading out the Holy Bible, the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law that endureth forever. God laws endure forever. Don't let the Christian church tell you that we ain't got to keep God's laws. They've been telling us that since we got the slave ship. So that's why it's murder. The, the Bible says thou should not kill. So the Bible says thou should not steal. The Bible says thou should love thy neighbor as thyself. But the Christian church I taught our people and taught our children that God laws are done away with. So that's why our communities are in the shape they're in. Read. All day that keep it. It said all day that keep God laws. Read. Shall come to life. It said you want to come to life, you want to live, you better keep God laws. That's why we die. Read. But such as leave it. It says such as leave this Bible. Such as leave this Bible, what's going to happen? Shall die. Shall do what? Die. So y'all going to die over here in East Jackson if you don't keep uh, God laws. You're going to keep dying. You're going to keep seeing these young games, these young kids, man. Hey, I'm going to tell you, they forming games every day in their school system. They forming games. They going up to school, and they coming up with these young moms. Knockout games. And why we out here? Because we tired of seeing it. Give me Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. We are tired of seeing this. I know y'all just see three men out here in purple shirt right now, but best believe, there's a whole lot of us. There's a whole lot of us. We look at, God is looking for the real men that's going to stand up for his word. That's right. God ain't looking for no little boy. God ain't looking for no girly men. God ain't looking for no, no men that's just, just, all they do is sit around and drink beer and cigarettes and listen to radio all day, listen to the blues all day. God is looking for men who going to stand up against the evildoers. Bring it out. So that's what we out here doing. What you got? Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. The Bible says surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. We looking, you're looking at the wisest men in Jackson right now. And we out here mad. We mad because we tired of the crime. We tired of the killing. We tired of the drug dealing. We tired of the prostitution. That's we tired right. of all the STDs, these women and these men spreading around our community. Read that what you got one more time. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. It said oppression maketh a wise man mad. Read. And a guilt. It said a guilt do what? Destroy the heart. But well, they give you guilt to destroy you. They give you an EBT card for you to forget. Bring it out. oppression that's going on in our neighborhood. That's right. They give you food stamps so you can forget the oppression that you're in. That's right. They give the women section eight. So she can forget the oppression she's in. It said a guilt destroys the heart. It destroys your mind. They take crafty counsel to find out all the gifts they can give you to uh to keep you blindfolded, to keep the veil over your face. 
It's time for us to wake up. And the only way you're going to wake up, you got to realize who you are first. Then you must repent and come back to God, law, statute, and his commandments. Thus said the Lord God. What you got? Give me, uh, give me 2nd Andrew chapter 14, verse 28. I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a brief summary how the black man, how we got in this condition. How do we go from kings to being slaves in America? It's all in the Holy Bible. We know y'all ain't never heard this. The pastor is not reading y'all the Bible. That's why y'all ain't heard of this. Because the Christian pastor reading you one scripture, the choir sing a song, he reads you one more scripture, then the choir get up and sing again, then he pass the plate around, then the choir sing again, he pass the plate around, do a sermon, sing you home. That's why, that's why you don't know nothing. That's right. That's why all this right here sounds new to you. But read that, start at verse 28. Second address, 14, verse 28. Hear these words, O Israel. The Most High God say, hear this, these words, O Israel. Hear these words, O black man. Black man. Hear these words, God said. Read. Hear these words, O Israel. Our fathers at the beginning were strangers in Egypt. He said our fathers in the beginning were strangers in Egypt. You are a stranger in America right now. Read. From which they were delivered. Right. We were delivered out of Egypt. Okay. We're going to be delivered out of America. You just don't know. You're not going to be in America all your life. All right? Read. And receive the law of life. Receive what? The law of life. So that lets you know right now in America, you're not supposed to be doing what you want to do. All right? We received the laws of life from the beginning. Read. Which they kept not. Which they did what? Kept not. Which they didn't kept not. Just like now, y'all don't want to keep God law. Read. I'm explaining how we got in this situation. How do we go from kings to being slaves? Read. And receive the law of life, which they kept not, which ye also have transgressed. It said, which ye also have uh, transgressed. Our forefathers didn't keep the law, and you're not keeping the law right now, 2016. Read. Which ye also have transgressed after them. Then was the land, even the land of uh, uh, Zion. Zion parted amongst you and said we even had our own land but since we didn't want to do what god said do he parted the land read then was the land of zion parted amongst you by lot by your fathers and by ye yourself did y'all know we had our own land according to our father judah had his own land benjamin had his own land read have done unrighteousness and have not kept the ways which the which the highest commanded you. We are not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. All right? Read. And for as much as he is righteous, judge. So he, God is a righteous judge. Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding. So now it's time for you to do what? Subdue your own understanding. You got to subdue what the Christian pastor done taught you. He taught you lies. I guarantee you. No Christian pastor teaching you lies. He taking your money and he hitting your woman. He is a pimp. We're going to tell it like it is. That's it's time right. For the black man to wake up over here in East Jackson on Whitehall. It's time for y'all to wake up and come out uh, Come out these Christian churches. These Christian churches, they ain't doing nothing but taking your money and taking your honey. All right? Read. And reform your heart. Ye shall be kept alive. They say, if you reform, meaning what? If you be converted, give me some. Give me some uh, 19 to 7. It said, if you reform your heart. You should be kept alive. What's going to reform your heart? What's going to reform your mind? It's time for us to wake up. And we out here to answer any questions you got. That's why we out here for y'all. We out here teaching the word of God for y'all. Y'all right. feel free to come over here and ask any questions you got according to the Bible. We're going to let God answer any question you got. All right? Any question about life, we're going to answer it with the Bible. God got your answer. I guarantee you. Read that. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. It said the laws of God are perfect. Read. Converting the soul. Converting the soul. So that's what's going to change you. That's what's going to change your mind. You got to come back into the laws of God. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. It said the testimony of the Lord is sure, meaning everything he said going to happen in this Bible is going to happen. Read. 
Making wise the simple. It makes a simple man become wise when he starts keeping God's law, statutes, and his commandments. All right? If you got any questions, feel free to come over here and ask, okay? We out here for y'all. We out here in y'all community trying to stop the gang violence, trying to stop somebody from getting killed this summer. Because y'all already know that it's warming up. Somebody finna die. It might be you. It might be your grandkids. It might be your uh, niece. It might be your uh, your nephews. Somebody got to die, though. Why? Because we not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments over here in this community. Bring it up. Somebody got to go. Somebody go, go. Just said the Lord God. All right? Give me, uh, give me, uh, do the run. Chapter 7 and verse 6. Let's see how special God said you are to him. All right? We gonna read more. Hey, right, we gonna we gonna read more scriptures today than you ever heard in your life. Within a little small period of time that we out here, we are not your Christian pastor. The Christian pastor gonna read you one scripture and then go tell you how he grew up in Mississippi somewhere. Don't nobody want to hear that. Nobody don't care, don't care nothing about that. He gonna tell you one scripture. But God so love the world. Then he gonna go tell you how you know what I'm saying. How much money he need for him to give him a 65 million dollar check. Don't nobody want to hear that. We are here to bring the laws of God to this community. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said that we are holy, meaning we are separate. We are different from everybody else. We not know, we not like everybody else. We are different from the white man. We are different from the Chinese man. We are different from the Arab man. That's we right. are different. God said that his chosen people are holy. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He said God has chosen you, black woman and black man. He didn't choose the whole world, but he chose you. Read. To be a special people unto himself. To be special unto himself. God chose us. That's how much God loved you. He said he chose you to be special unto himself. Read. Above all people. So we ain't got to be equal to all people. Above all people. So we ain't got to try to live to be equal to the white man and the Arab and the Chinese man. Above all people. So God created us to be above all people. Okay? Y'all got to understand that. He created a group of people to be above all people. So guess what? That makes everybody not equal. Everybody is not born equal. That's a lie that the white man taught you to keep his foot on your neck. For you to try to live and never surpass him, but try to live to be equal to him. And we've been over here going on 400 years, and we ain't got equal to this man yet. Bring it out. We ain't got equal to this man yet. It's time for our people to wake up. You're not going to never get equal to the white man long as you ain't keeping God's law, statute, and his commandments. That's right. God set it up that way. Long as you ain't keeping his commandments, he, he set the white man up to what? Put his foot on your neck. Every time you move, he move. Every time you move, he move. That's right. Every time you move, he move. You think you're going to uh, try to what? Surpass him? He move down on you and destroy everything you got. Try to move in his neighborhood. You try to move in his neighborhood, what are you going to do? He move. He going to move. When you move, he move. They built Wall Black Wall Street in the 1920s. The black people moved. And guess what the white man did? He moved. He moved and dropped a whole bomb on one community and killed 3,000 people in one day. Right. And, but no, nobody talk about that no more. Nobody don't talk about Black Wall Street when we had our own banks, our own hospitals, right. our own airports. Right. We had our own everything. I'm going to tell you what, if you don't repent, every time you move, the white man going to keep moving on you. Because his job is to what? Keep you below him. He's, his job is to keep you in sin. Read that over again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Thou art the holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said that we are holy people unto him. Okay? We are different from all the nations on the earth. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God said he chose you so-called black men going in and out the store, your black women going in and out the store to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people. He said above all people, not equal to all people. Martin Luther King was a lie. We're going to tell it like it is. Dr. Martin Luther King talking about we got to live and one day all men was created equal and all that garbage. That's a lie. 
God said that we were created above all people. Read. Above all people that are on the face of the earth. That are on the face of the earth. It ain't talking about just Jackson. Y'all over here fighting over a neighborhood. Y'all over here fighting over a street corner. God said the world was made for your sakes. Give me that in 2nd Andrew, chapter uh, 6 and verse 55, I think. Yeah. God said that the world was made for your sake, black man. Why in the world are we around in Jackson fighting over a street corner? And when God made the world for your sake. If it wasn't, hey, if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for the world, guess what? It wouldn't be no you. If it wasn't for you, it wouldn't be no world. It's time for y'all to wake up and realize how great y'all are. Y'all gonna stay asleep, stay over here, pushing up, uh, little weed packs, little cocaine packs, little powder packs. That's what y'all gonna keep living and trying to do when God telling you right now he made the world for your sake. Read. Second Andrew, chapter 6, verse 45, upon the fourth day. 6 and 55, all this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. See, God made the world for the Israelites' sakes. He did not make this world for the white man. He didn't make the world for the Chinese man. He didn't make the world for the Arab man. He made them gasoline pipes for you. He made them oil wells for you. He made the water wells for you. But since you disobeyed God's law, statutes, and commandments, he said he's going to take all that away from you. Until you what? Come back to your true nationality. Until you acknowledge your offense. But y'all will not acknowledge your offense. Y'all scared to tell God, look, I'm sorry, Lord. We are sinning against thee. That's right. Let us rule the earth again. But y'all so used to being slaves, y'all don't forget y'all was kings on this earth. We so used to being slaves, we don't forget that we were kings on this earth. That's according right. to the Bible. We so used to being slaves and it's pitiful. You can be somewhere, hey, you keep God lost, that's your commandment, man. You can be selling you some gas. <laughs> I'm for real. Where you at, huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, you throw me off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You have a flip and stuff. You throw me off. Hey, uh. All right, go back to, uh. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Matthew 4 and 17. It's time for y'all to wake up. America gonna be destroyed. And y'all gonna be going in and out this door when that happens. I guarantee you, y'all gonna be sitting on the corner, listening to the radio, drinking a Budweiser, and a nuclear bomb gonna hit, and your skin gonna melt off your body, and you ain't gonna know what happened. And we've been to read it out the Holy Bible. Read. Look what God telling you, black man. Pay attention. Five seventeen. Matthew chapter four, verse seventeen. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, "Repent." Do what? Repent. God is calling you to repentance, black man. Read. For the kingdom of heaven is at, is at hand. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Give me Deuteronomy 11 and 21. It says repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, when you die, don't be thinking you're going to go into a pie in the sky and see your grandmama and your auntie and everybody uh, that got shot and killed over here in Jackson again. When you die, you're not going to go up there and see Marvin Gaye, Red Fox, uh, who else? Tupac. Tupac, Big and Small. There ain't no niggas in there. This ain't no soul heaven. This ain't, it ain't like what Johnny Taylor said, talking about some soul heaven. That ain't, that's a lie. Heaven is right here on earth. That's why he said repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Read. Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 21. That your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children in the land which the Lord swear unto your father. So that's what heaven is about. It's about the land which the Lord has sworn to our forefathers, read. To give them as the days of heaven upon the earth. To do what? To give them as the days of heaven upon the earth. So heaven gonna be right here on earth. We got news for you. But if you don't repent, guess what? You're not gonna receive, you're not gonna get into the kingdom. You are not going to get into the kingdom of heaven. Somebody tell me right now, how do you get into the kingdom of heaven? How do you get into the kingdom of heaven? Can you do what you want to do? You can't, can you? 
You got to do what God said to do to get in the kingdom of heaven. Right? Watch this. Give me Matthew uh, 16. Verse 19. You got to do what God said to do to get into the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven is on earth. If you want to be a king again, young man, you got to repent. You can't do what you want to do out here in America. You was brought to America to repent. That's you was right. brought here on a cargo slave ship, okay? You was just born again out your mama's womb. But we are those same people that was brought over here in the, uh, on the transatlantic slave trade. Kingdom of heaven, sister, do you know what you got to do to enter into the kingdom of heaven? Watch this. Watch Jesus finna tell you. This written in red in the Bible. Come over here for a second. We gonna tell you. Read 19. The book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. We, go, we are here reading the Holy Bible to our people to bring them into repentance. Read. Matthew 19 and 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? And so one came unto Jesus Christ and said, Good master, what may I do to have eternal life? So don't you want to know what you got to do to have eternal life? To live forever? Watch what Jesus Christ tell him. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? So Jesus Christ said, Why you calling me good? Because he came and said, Good master. Christ <laughs> said, Look, why you calling me good? Rick? There is none good but one. He said, Ain't no good but one. So then letting you know Jesus Christ and the Heavenly Father are what? Two separate beings. Okay? That is God. That is who? God. So he said, It ain't no good but one. So Jesus Christ knew him and God ain't the same people. That's a lie the Christian church taught you. Talking about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. They are one person. That's a lie. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life. But if you want to enter into life, talking about the kingdom of heaven. Read. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Now nah, walk up and down the street and do what you want to do every day. Keep the commandments. You got to learn the commandments of God and keep them, sister. Okay? You got to learn the commandments of God. We're going to give you a commandment right quick, okay? Do you love God? Give me uh, give me John chapter 14, 15. Do you love God? You love Christ? You love Jesus the Christ? Do you love him? Okay, we're going to read out the Bible what Jesus Christ said you must do if you love him. All right? We read more. We're, we're going to read more scriptures today than your Christian pastor ever read. We out here breathing life back into our communities. We out here getting these kids off these drugs. Getting them out these knockout games. Getting them out these bars. Getting them out the GDs. Getting them out the vice lords. Getting them out the bloods. Getting them out the crypts. That's what we out here fighting against. And we need more black men over here to fight with us. Three. John 14 and 15. If ye love me. This is Jesus Christ speaking. He said, if you love him, woman. Read. If ye love me, keep my commandments. He said, keep his commandments, okay? So if you love God, you must keep his commandments. It might not happen overnight, but you got to take in consideration that you got to change and you want to keep God's commandments. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. It's time for our people to wake up. We got to instill. Y'all come over here. We over here. We out here for y'all young men. Y'all cannot hate knowledge. Your God is not going to tell you this. Black youngster is not going to tell you this. Your Christian pastor is not going to tell you this. That's right. Black men, y'all hate knowledge. That's why people, somebody got to die over here. Somebody going to die because our young men hate knowledge. And the most high God going to make sure somebody die over here. He going to keep us in affliction until we recognize our own bent. Hosea 5.15. Yeah, I'm going to get that next. Read that. Where's the woman go? Oh, she went in the stove. Oh, she scared her off. Give me Hosea 4. I mean, uh, 5. 5 and 15. She scared it off. She don't want to hear the laws of God. They turn their back to the laws of God. That's why somebody got to die over here. And now about everybody going to be at the front of her crying, talking about why. Why? <laughs> why? Because you was listening. The Bible was coming out and you kept on walking. That's why. That's God right. was speaking to you and you kept on walking. Really? So that's why somebody got to die. That's right. And God ain't playing with our people. A whole lot of people going to die. A little young baby going to die. A little teenager going to die. Young man gonna die, young woman gonna die. What can I tell you? All you gotta do is keep living. The word of God coming out, we pass the word of God. Then when somebody dies, we all in the church crying. Read. Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place. God said he gonna go and return to his place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until you black folks acknowledge what you done to God to get in the situation you in. 
He said he's gonna turn his back on you. He's not hearing your prayer. All right? God is not hearing your prayer. Why? He said he was gonna go to his place until you acknowledge your offense. You gotta acknowledge what you did wrong. It's the only way God is gonna hear you. Alright? Give me uh give me Leviticus chapter 26. Y'all think we out here playing. Y'all don't understand we are sent by God out here to wake people up. Cause somebody gonna die. And what's up? Yeah, I'm showing y'all friends on Facebook. When somebody die, don't be putting R.I.P. Rest in peace. Cause it ain't gonna be no rest in peace. I'ma say I told you so. That's what I'ma say. It's time for the black woman to wake up. It's time for the black man to wake up. And teach these young kids something. The, black, the young kids hate knowledge. If we was your guy over here, they would have came over here. If we was over here trying to, trying to rap, they would have came over here. But since we over here reading out a book, they all, oh, we don't want to hear that. That's the problem in our community. All the other nations reading books. The white boys reading books. The Chinese boys reading books. The Arab boys reading books. Bring it up. The black man, all he doing is looking at YouTube, world style hip hop, and listening to rap music. That's right. They doing whatever the rap music say do. If the rap music say nigga go shoot, kill, that's what they do. If the rap music say, hey, slap a hoe, that's what they go do. If the rap music say pop as many pills as you can, that's what they do. It's a, it's a shame. It's a crying shame. Our kids are following people that they don't even know. Our kids are following people that they can't even see. Our kids are following people that they are never be able to see and put their hands on. Because the black man is laying down. The black man won't stand up for nothing. The damn rappers are kids role models. Beyonce our children role models. And they ain't gonna never see Beyonce. They ain't gonna never get to talk to Beyonce. All they can do is wait on her next album and she can tell them how to be a whore. That's right. Read what you got. 24. Leviticus 26 and 24. Because we despise the word of God. This is why God, this is what God said was gonna happen to you, black woman. Pay attention. Then will I also walk. Contrary unto you. God said he's going to walk the opposite way. Uh, contrary to you. Read. And will punish you. Yes. Yes. Seven times for your sin. He said he's going to punish you seven times more for your sin. All right. Read. And I will bring a sword upon you that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. He said he's going to bring a sword. He's going to bring balance upon you. He's going to bring balance upon you. Skip up to verse 20. Oh no. Let's see where I want to be at. Verse 14. Okay, verse 14, yeah. So God said for your disobedience, he's going to bring a sword upon our neighborhood. That means violence. That means death. Because you would not do what he said do. He said he's going to walk on contrary to you, meaning the opposite direction. He's going to turn his back on you, black man. He turned his black back on the black woman. All right? That's why we're in the slums and in the ghetto, and we got to sit up in the little corners and stuff and sell our little stuff. And when you go up, ride down Highland, all the other nations got a building with air conditioning in it, selling they stuff. Read. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statutes. God said if you don't do what he say do, and you hate his statutes, you hate this Bible, the Holy Bible coming out right now, and we got black men and black women walking by, and they won't ask no question, God said he was going to do this right here. We read out the Bible. This is why you in the ghettos. Read. Or if your soul offer my judgments, uh -huh. so that ye will not do my, all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. God said since you broke your promise that you made to God, because you know you made a promise to God, don't you? You know God, you made a promise to God. You made a promise. You told God you will do everything he say do. You told him. All you got to do is ask us to prove it, and we are proven. You told God you will do everything he said do. Read. I will, I will even appoint over you, Sarah. He said because you are, uh, he said because you are, uh, you hard-headed, God said he's going to point over our neighborhood, terror. That's why our kids are in game. That's why our women are in game. That's why they pulling each other weave out their head in school. That's why you can't get along because the Most High God has appointed over our neighborhood terror because y'all despise the Word of God. We are reading out the Holy Bible and you got black women and black men walking by the Word of God like we out here uh, singing a, a, a rap song. 
And y'all wonder why somebody got to die. Somebody going to die in East Jackson. Somebody got to die. It might be you, your nephew, your cousin, your neighbor. Somebody got to die because y'all hate God's word. Bring it out. And the burning algae that shall consume the eyes uh -huh. and cause sorrow of heart. And ye shall sow your seed in vain. He said you was going to have babies in vain. You was going to have babies. And they was going to be in vain. Meaning they was going to be put on this earth for nothing but for destruction. Read. For your enemies shall eat it. Uh -huh. And I will set my face against you. God said for your disobedience. He was going to set his face against us. What does it mean when God said he's going to set his face against us? If I set my face against you right now, what I do? I turn my back on you. So God said for our disobedience, talking to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and your Native Americans, he said he was going to turn his back on us. Read. And you shall be slain before your enemies. He said we was going to be slain before our enemies, okay? God said for your disobedience, you want to do what you want to do? He said you're going to be slain before your enemies. That's why Trayvon Martin got killed, and there was what? No justice. That's why Mike Brown got killed, and there was what? No justice. That's why Roy Glenn Jr. in Humboldt over there got shot in, by the police in 2009, got shot in the back while he was on his knees, and there was no justice, okay? That's why Tamir Rice didn't get no justice. That's why Freddie Gray didn't get no justice. Bring it up. Okay? And all the people in Jackson that have been killed unjustified by the police. He said you was going to be slain before our enemies because the word of God coming out and the black people don't care. Read. They that hate you. He said they that hate you. You think these people love you? These people don't love you? They brought you over here on the cargo slave ship. They had you chained on the cargo slave ship. They had a yoke of iron upon your neck. Okay? They threw some of y'all off the slave ship because it was too heavy. The cargo was too much. It weighed too much. And they just fed y'all to the sharks. They that hate you, read. They that hate you shall reign over you. He said they that hate you shall reign over you, okay? He's talking about our government. Yo, the government hates you. I don't care how many food stamps they give you. I don't care how many uh, Section 8 vouchers they give you. I don't care. He said they that hate you shall reign over you, okay? So it's time for our people to wake up and stop thinking that the, that the people that brought them over here to be a slave 2016, all of a sudden they had a change of heart. All of a sudden they supposed to have a change of heart and now they love you. I'm going to tell you now, the white man, they hate you. They hate your guts. They hate your children. They hate the children that your children going to have. They shall flee when none pursuing you. They say you going to run when ain't nobody even chasing you. Where you at? 18. 18? Great. And if ye will not yet for all your all this, hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sin. So God said if y'all don't listen right now, why the word of God coming out, y'all ain't never seen no black men standing on the corner reading the Bible, they should tell you something. Something is going on in this world. Something is going on in this world, and y'all need to pay attention. Because God just said if y'all don't hearken to him, he's going to punish you seven times more this summer. Right. He's going to punish you seven times more this summer. It's going to go down. Y'all think it's a joke. Now we come out here to wake our people up, man. It's time for our people to wake up over here in West, uh, the East Jackson. And we all over the world, okay? We are all over. Don't think it's just three men over here. We are all over the world. And we out here trying to do what? To wake our communities up. We are speaking against the gang violence. We are uh, speaking against the uh, the cocaine in the neighborhood. Right. We know y'all over there got little packs of rocks, little eight balls and quarters over there in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? We know you got powder packs all in your pocket and in your sock. You know what I'm saying? You got blunts. Keep going in the store buying cigars. You know what I'm saying? We know everything going on. We from the hood. You know what I'm saying? But God woke us up. That's right. He woke us up. He removed uh, the, the blindfold off of our faces. You understand that? All right? So now we out here to do what? To wake our people up. We out here to warn you. Give me Ezekiel. We out here to wash our hands off. Okay? That's so right. God said, look, he told us this right here. He said, he told us to go out here to the highway to head and compel my people to come in. Okay? He didn't say, go build you a church and tell and, and put on the radio and tell people to come to you. That ain't in the Bible. He didn't say go build a church and tell people to come to you. God said to go out to the highway and the head and compel his people to come in. Come back into the fold. We are the children of Israel. We are God's chosen people. And we went into slavery. And we suffered in the conditions of America. Why? Because we break God's law, statutes, and his commandments. 
That's plain and simple. Okay? So it's time for our people to come back to God and learn what we're doing wrong so we can change. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.